So my party people, you see how you're given a lot of information. You're given the current depth. You're given a time period, eight months. But you have to ultimately understand that what you're looking for is the why. What will be the depth of the lake? What will be the result after eight months? Does that make sense to my party people? That's where we specifically want to focus. And that's going to tell us right there, boom, we're looking for the result. The why after eight months. Good. So we have that right there. We're looking for the, the why, the result equals blank inches, which is representing the depth after eight months. So notice that like this is this is what you're putting in. This is your input. The input is eight months and the result is the water depth. So even with this by itself, you should be able to point out that the eight months represents the what, everybody? Eight months represents the X. Exactly. It represents the X. So booyah right over there, my party people. We'll go ahead and say X equals eight months. So X equals eight months right there. Sweet. So we'll go ahead and just circle that. And then it says if the current depth is 240 inches. What does that mean, my party people? If the current depth is 240 inches? Yeah, if we're trying to look for the depth later, the current depth is the beginning amount. The current depth is what we have in the beginning, and the depth that we're looking for is the result. So we're looking at B equals 240 inches. That's what we begin with. So we have that. Perfect. And then the other thing from the beginning of the problem, a small lake is experiencing water loss due to drought conditions. The water level is decreasing at a rate of three inches per month. Okay, there it is. Rate of three inches per month. My party people, what's a common mistake that somebody might make here that we potentially made in the last problem? What's a small little mistake that could be made here? Yeah, you might put three instead of negative three. So remember, sometimes it always takes that one mistake that you're just a little bit embarrassed about to then never make it again. That's what it's all about. You allow yourself to make the mistakes so you can see how not to make them. That's what I was saying in the beginning of class, everybody. So with that, there we go. Our M is going to be negative three inches per month. Right there. And it's because we're losing water. So with that said, we have everything we need. We'll plug it right in and we're good. And Josh, ja, saw your question. This is arithmetic reasoning unit number six in our arithmetic reasoning course. Um, e solving equation word problems, linear equation word problems to be specific. So with that, we'll plug everything in and we're good. Y equals MX plus B. My M is negative three. My X is eight months. My beginning amount is 240 inches. And there we go. Oh, arithmetic reasoning. AR stands for arithmetic reasoning. So with that, we plug everything in, everybody. Everybody, what's three times eight? Yep, 24, but it's going to be a negative 24 because it's negative three times eight. And then we're adding 240. And again, negative 24 plus 240. We can actually make that easier for ourselves because it's the same thing as saying 240 minus 24. Now that we're here, we'll do that. We'll do 240 minus 24. And from here, zero minus four, can't do that, unfortunately. So we'll borrow one. 10 minus four is gonna be six. Three minus two is one. And then two minus nothing is two. And there we go. Why the result, the result in water depth is 216 inches after eight months and there's the fully contextualized answer but there we go there is the water depth after eight months our final answer is b and there we go my math party people how are we feeling about this one how are we feeling about this one you know really <laughs> notice how the negative number is there there's a negative but the most important part was understanding why that was a negative to begin with I'm telling you guys, it is all about knowing how the formula works, how to represent the formula the right way. And then you'll start noticing that, oh, 
I can see a weird number or I can see a decimal. I can see a fraction. They're just numbers. I'm actually more concerned about what those numbers mean to set things up. That's what it's always been about, everybody. So with that said, everybody, how would you uh, how would you rate today's class? Would you say today was worth it on a Monday night, given that you could have been doing anything else? <laughs> you tell me. I love hearing it. There you go. So I, as long as you got something out of this, whether it was understanding the right way to set it up, whether it was improving your confidence just a little bit, getting a refresher, getting more practice, whatever it was that you were looking for here today, I hope that you were at least headed in the right direction, everybody.